This is NAB week and there is a ton going on out in Las Vegas. There's a whole bunch of new hardware like this brand new Shure MV7 Plus that they sent over to me for review, along with software which PTZ Optics is getting ready to release called their Hive Studio. Now, just the other week, uh, a few days ago rather, they had a live stream talking about the Hive Studio and I was sitting right here looking at that monitor as they went through this. Now, I wanna share with you some of the highlights that I'm really excited about for, uh, for us that use PTZ cameras. Now, you definitely want to watch this whole video in its entirety, and I'll link to it in the description of this video. But let's go through this together a little bit, and I wanna highlight some of the things that I'm excited about, and I think you should be definitely paying attention to a couple of these, especially if you operate any type of PTZ cameras. So let's get started. All right, hello everybody. Welcome to PTZ Optics Live. We are so excited to be here today with a very special announcement. Not only is there a solar eclipse today, but more importantly, we have one of our largest <laughs> announcements ever, the PTZ Optics Hive. Yeah, this is an exciting announcement. We've been working on this for a long time and decided NAB was the right time to announce this product so we can show it all to you live in person in Las Vegas next week, but also live online right now. And just to give you a little bit about the timeline, so today is the announcement day. It is available for pre-order from our authorized channel partners, and we have some special introductory pricing that we'll show you. Now, definitely, if you haven't already, go into the link right now and just sign up for the pre-order. The reason you want to sign up for the pre-order is because you're numbered and you want to be as close to the top when this actually releases. And if you sign up for the pre-order, there is actually a way to get higher up that level if you share it out with other people. So that's why I'm encouraging you to sign up so I can get higher up the list and you should do the same as well, getting other people excited about this new software update. So let's keep going. Uh, but first we need to tell you about this product and what it is, of course. Um, you have the ability to sign up for a wait list and even get beta access in April and May. And the official product release when you will be able to purchase it and, and actually start using it is um, June 3rd. So let's get started and look at, I have a quick little PowerPoint to show you what this product is capable of. I've got the camera um, system up. I have the Hive system up and I want to give someone in the audience control of all the cameras in our studio, just to show you how easy this is to set up. So let me show you Hive really quickly. Um, we've got a lot of PTZ cameras in this studio. You may have a few as well. And I just want to show you guys just quickly how easy it is to use Hive Studio. Um, Hive is a cloud-based video production system. I have five cameras in my setup right now. Um, but we can do uh, kind of like an unlimited amount of cameras here, just giving you an example of what we can do uh, just to control all of our PTZ cameras. We've got a lot of... First impressions looking at this, he has five cameras set up. I love the fact that I can view all my cameras in this one display. So I'm thinking multi-views that a lot of us use for multiple camera setups. He's able to see all his cameras in this one software application. And as you see, he's able to move these cameras around. You'll be able to see him navigate to the different cameras and everything like that, which is pretty cool. So that's one thing that really got my attention early on. I have awesome options. But before I do like a huge live demo, I want to just high level explain to you what this platform is. So one of the great things that Hive does is it gives professional PTZ camera controls to everyone, meaning anyone with a keyboard and mouse and access to the internet can control your PTZ cameras. That opens... Whoa. You can give yourself, give anyone access to control your cameras. So if you have a team that needs access to the cameras, or you have someone that maybe can assist you, like, hey, maybe myself, or maybe shout out to AJ, the CEO. Like, if you need someone to access your cameras, this could be a way for troubleshooting to be done. This could be a way for teaching to be done. Maybe I could give you guys access to certain cameras here and you'd be able to control them and, uh, you know, test them out and see how things work. This, I'm excited, let's keep going. 
opens up all kinds of ways to make it easier for people to learn how to use PTZ cameras and do multi-camera productions. But it also allows you to control your cameras from anywhere in the world so that you can outsource PTZ camera production to anyone who can access Hive. The sharing feature of Hive is one of the really innovative pieces where you can share access directly to uh, anyone who you want to. So you can give them administrative control, you can give them PTZ producer control, or you can just give anyone you'd like viewer only access, which we're, we're gonna send you guys some links today so that you can share this live on, on today's webinar. Sharing a link is just like sharing a Google Doc. Once your studio is all set up and you've got your cameras in there, you can send an invite, share a link, and then manage access to who gets access to your studio. And you can even set time expirations so that people who are using your studio can use it for just a certain amount of time. I come from the environment of security, network security. So we're always looking at ways to make sure that everything stays secure. And this is a really easy way to share access and it's role based. So you don't have to give up admin permissions to your network. You can just give certain permissions to your cameras. Now, again, that's one of the things that I really like, especially if you are in a training environment or you just need someone to quickly just log in and help you troubleshoot something. This could be one of those options. Now, the controls are really nice. We have a uh, really simple click to center tools. We also have a fast frame tool, which really revolutionized what it means to have PTZ control over a camera. I can't wait to show you that in action. We have joystick controls and auto tracking, multi-viewing, everything you'd need, including video switching, all in one simple platform. Um, the auto tracking capabilities allow you to do similar to what we can do on, on board with the Move SE and Move 4K cameras. So with auto tracking, typically the cameras have had to say that they are able to do auto tracking, at least the ones I have. I'm very interested to see with this software if it works on non-AI tracking cameras. So maybe you have an older PTZ cameras before the whole AI buzz kicked off. I'm interested to see if this can possibly work for those as well. But takes it even further and allowing you to enable this on any PTZ camera, even if it's an older Gen 2 PTZ optics camera. Well, I just got my answer there, so next. So really excited about that. The color correction tools are significant, and we'll take a look at those in a moment. Color correction tools. This is one of my pet peeves. I don't know if it's a pet peeve, but it's something that I, I uh, put off and put off and put off, and I know it needs to be done. If you have different camera manufacturers that you're using in your environment, you can probably tell that the colors are just a little bit off, especially with the lighting in your particular situation. Because I know for me, we have three different cameras that I've donated to my church as a result of you guys subscribing here on YouTube. Um, and those cameras have been sent over to me and I've donated it to them, but they all look a little different. And I have to go in and manually adjust the colors. This is a way that I don't have to manually go in with the remote and try to figure it out and try to have someone look at the screen and go back and forth. I can do everything inside of the platform and that's gonna be a huge win for me is to be able to get the colors matching just using their brand new tool. Even if you're using a Blackmagic camera, a webcam, a PTZ Optics camera, and maybe a Panasonic camera, you can bring them all into Hive and have one single centralized color correction tool system where we normalize all of the um, settings for color into one system. And I'll show you some of the cool color correction presets and color matching tools that are available. We have instant image adjustments, including presets, of course, but even more so, Hive currently supports over 400 camera drivers. It sounds like your camera will be supported. Over 400 camera drivers they're going to support. That's pretty nice. And seeing how you can easily adjust the shutter speed, the iris, the exposure settings in the software. Again, one of those things I don't have to go to the remote control to try to navigate through the menu system. I can just do it all right here meaning we're making changes directly to the camera's shutter speed, iris, exposure, et cetera, 
not adapting on top, but really making in-depth, fine-tuned um, changes to the cameras that are connected to Hive. One of my favorite parts of Hive, and I'm going to show you this in a moment, I have Hive set up at home, Tess. At home? Yeah, I decided. I wasn't sure. We have Hive set up in different areas, but one of the areas is at my house. Nice. Because uh, I wanted to show a completely remote area, um, and we'll be showing in Las Vegas next week. In Las Vegas, we'll be sh uh, controlling the cameras here. Right. And that today we'll be controlling cameras at my house. And just, just to give you an example of the flexibility of the remote production. That's a fun little surprise. Now that part right there where he just talked about being able to connect, one thing that you have to keep in mind is your cameras need to be on your network. So definitely make sure that you have them set up on your network if you haven't already. I'll link to a video that I did a little while ago about networking your PTZ cameras because it's not that difficult. But in order to enjoy the benefits of what this can do, you definitely will need to have all your cameras on your network and have access to them. Um, but you can control multiple studios um, from one interface. And this is kind of the way it's laid out. You have one master organization. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, look at this, guys. Pay attention, pay attention. But then you can have multiple studios inside of that organization, and then you can choose which users have access to which studio. So we'll, we'll take a peek at that in just a moment. Along with having the ability to monitor every device that's connected to your studio. So you can stop issues before they happen. We're, we're tracking the important information like the resolution, the frame rate, dropped frames, the bit rate. So you can have really peace of mind when you're managing multiple studios. Maybe you're a church that has multiple you know, satellite churches, for example. You can simplify troubleshooting and really consolidate everything. Now, one of the really important features of Hive is the ability to output NDI. And so we can output NDI and still use Hive with our existing vMix, Wirecast, or OBS systems. So anything that works with NDI on an output perspective, you can output the NDI of your cameras and the final production, but you can also input NDI as well. Now, one of the videos that I'm working on is NDI with Ecamm because NDI is a very powerful tool and being able to send that video signal over your network. So stay tuned for that if you want to learn more about NDI. Now, here's an important concept, and then I'm going to jump into a live demo, but an important concept for Hive is that the PTZ Optics, Move SE, and Move 4K cameras are Hive linked. That means that they can connect directly to Hive, directly to the cloud. Now, if you're using another PTZ camera manufacturer, which we do support, such as Aver or Bird Dog or Data Video, Sony, Panasonic, they can certainly connect to the Hive, but they're gonna need our free agent software, which I'll show in a moment here. And so we can support all of these, but the nice thing about PTZ Optics, Move SE, and Move 4K cameras is that we can connect them to our Hive system and then ship them anywhere in the world, and they will be linked as a plug-and-play experience. So we can ship these cameras to Japan. As soon as they get internet access, we'll have remote control over them. Nice. <coughs> okay. So... The first thing I want to show is some of these cinematic movements and just really just get right into the platform here. So as he goes throughout the rest of this video, he's actually going to demo the software. And this is where I think I can turn it back over to them. And I'll link to this specific video so you guys can go and check it out. Now, one of the other things that I just received an email about was PTZ Optics giving out NDI licenses for their previous cameras. Now, that's a huge win. Now you have no excuses to jump on the NDI bandwagon. And in a previous video, I had talked about like customer support when buying a PTZ camera. This is one of the reasons that I'm a huge fan of PTZ Optics because not only do they build great equipment, but the software that goes behind it and the customer service is also an added benefit. So if you haven't already, make sure that you look at everything in the description, get signed up for that beta access, get early access to start testing this out and see how you can use it for your environment.